you guys know that Lila's biggest lie so far is that her name isn't even Lila? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How about that? Now, although this has not been actually stated in the show, or at least not yet, it is confirmed information, and it comes from, like, this card thing. I honestly don't know anything about it. The cards aren't even in English. I don't even know where you can, like, actually purchase these, but anyway, they're just these cards that you can buy, and what they have on them is just, like, fun facts about the show that we didn't know before. Anyway, going back to the whole Lila thing, specifically what the card said was, what if Lila's biggest lie so far is that her name isn't Lila. So obviously this is a what if, but I don't think that they would put that on the card if it wasn't true. So I would not be surprised if Lila is not really her name. The next one is that Miss Bustier was once a student of Mr. Damocles and once pinned a fish to his back as an April Fool's joke. I just have to say, this one honestly just disturbed me, not because of the fun fact itself, but because there were so many people that were like shipping Miss Bustier and Mr. Damocles and were saying that Mr. Damocles was the father of her child. I j <coughs> but you know what, we're not, we're not even going to talk about that because that, I, ugh, I can't. Um, okay, this one just honestly made me laugh <laughs> when I first read it, and it says, As a child, Alex was given a rabbit as a present, and it was by herself from the future. Only Alex would do that. Like, the second that I read it, I was like, yeah, that's, that's definitely something that she would do. This next one is just, like, some lyrics from Julika, and it says, Even if nothing is decided, nothing is as rigid as stone. Everything can burn, and then we're alone. So love, life, eternity. That seems like it would be such a beautiful song, but also, I honestly did not know that Julika was, like, actually into writing songs. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, obviously I'm not surprised that she has written a song because she's into music, but I just didn't think that she ever did or would. So, in Caplonk, we learned that Adrian has at least five names because it was obviously Fifth Names Day and he was celebrating Athanase, which is his fifth name. So, we knew that he at least had like five, but we never knew the exact number of names or what each of those names were, obviously besides Adrian, Agrest, and Athanase. However, as you probably guessed it, now we do because Adrian's full name was one of the things that was on the Miraculous Secret Card thing. And his name is Adrian Emile Gabriel Donation. Athanasagrest, I think that's right. I don't, I don't know. I don't speak French, but <laughs> what I find interesting is more so the meaning of the names rather than the actual names itself. Adrian means rich, Emile means eager, Gero means strong slash hero, Athanase means immortal, and then Agrest means aggressive, which like just totally fits Adrian so much. But like what I want to talk about specifically is Athanase, which is immortal, because that just seems a little kind of like eerie to me in a sense. I think that that's why out of all of the names Adrian had, Athanase is the one that they decided to give to us in Cap Blanc. It means immortal, which technically is something that Adrian is. I think that they gave us the name as a way to kind of like confirm the fact that he was a senti, which I don't know about you, but personally I think that's one of the best pieces of evidence they could have ever given us. But the other reason that I find it eerie is because Geron Emily chose that name. Like, they picked that name because they knew he was a senti, and obviously if you are a senti, you're kind of immortal. I don't know, I just think that it was honestly a really, really interesting and almost kind of creepy choice. The next one says that when Zoe lived in New York, her best friend was Jess. To make sure he always had enough cheese for plague, Adrian had to convince Natalie that he was obsessed with camembert. This is probably like my all-time favorite fun fact that we've gotten because I just remember seeing like so many skits on TikTok talking about this and like so many people would be like, how does he even get that much cheese? Like has Natalie or Gabriel like ever questioned it? And so like now we finally have our answer. I'm kind of upset that we actually didn't even get to see the scene. We were robbed. Okay, this one is just really sweet. It says, As a kid, Marinette dreamed of tailoring a hat for the Eiffel Tower to protect it from the snow. And from then on, all she wanted to do was become a fashion designer. Like, if that is not the cutest thing ever, I don't know what would be. I can just, like, imagine little baby Marinette. She was probably so adorable. Chloe wasn't always Sabrina's best friend. Before her, there was Cleo. So actually, fun fact, when I first read this, 
I don't even know why, but for some reason in my head, I was thinking that Cleo was Chloe's best friend, like before there was Sabrina. I don't know why I mixed that up, but turns out that Sabrina had a different best friend before Chloe and her name was Cleo. So now I'm really eager to meet her. I don't know if we ever will, but I kind of hope we do. I also want to know like when exactly they were friends because I know that Chloe and Sabrina started becoming friends in like kindergarten or something, I think they said. So was Cleo her friend like before then or not? And also like was Cleo just as bad as Chloe? Because I would not be surprised if she was. <laughs> Kogami has drawn a manga about her childhood in Japan, but she hasn't dared to publish it yet. Once again, just like with Marinette, if that is not the cutest thing ever, I don't know what is. I honestly really hope that like in future seasons, Marinette ends up like stumbling across it or something and then she takes it to Kagami and she's like, Kagami, you need to publish this. Or like maybe even Felix is the one to do that. I don't know, but I just think that that would be like such a cute little scene. This next one is another name one, which some of you, if you were paying attention in Revelation, you guys have probably already known this, but it says that Gabriel Agress's real name is Gaby Grisset. But like, who would have known that Harry Clown was not calling him a nickname, but calling him his real name this whole time, and we all thought it was just a nickname. Nino's headphones were given to him by his favorite DJ after a concert, therefore he always has them with him. That is also one of the cutest things ever, and I'm not surprised if like that experience is what made him want to become a DJ. And here we have yet another name that I not gonna even try to renounce because I don't want to butcher it, but this is Gabriel's bodyguard's real name, so I don't know. I think that the gorilla just fits him a lot more than his real name. Okay, now this one honestly really, really shocked me, and it says, Alia Cesare has received several Chinese healing treatments from Master Fu. That's why he almost chose Alia instead of Marinette to be Ladybug. I just... I I was not expecting to hear that one. However, I do think that this actually does solve a mystery that I've wanted to be solved for forever. Like, especially within like the last month or two, I've been thinking about this constantly and I think we finally have an answer. Basically, in the origins, Master Fu says something about like, I only got it wrong once. Do you think they'll be up to it, Master? I only got it wrong once. It will never happen again. At least I hope not. And that part honestly really, really confused me and no one was talking about it and like it was never addressed. With this secret, I think what it means that he was referring to was Alia. Like that's why he got it wrong once. He was going to give the miraculous to Alia. This one says, Marinette Dupin Chang wears both of her pigtails as memory of a great school friend who sadly left her school, which I'm almost positive is referring to So Clean because in Jubilation they did mention the fact that she left school and also she has pigtails so. <laughs> so the last few are that Ivan sings heavy metal lullabies to his little sister and she can't get enough. Sass, the snake Kwame loves tofu. And lastly, Nathaniel's natural hair is chestnut brown. It was dyed by Alex, which I honestly was not expecting. Like, his hair isn't red? What do you mean? Also, like, how has it stayed so red for s so long? It, I don't think it makes sense, but that's that.